All right, guys, we're at the elevator. Um, they're doing a lot of expansion, but you can see his uh, partner's getting ready to go on the scales there. So we're just basically waiting on the beads to dry up and you know, get back into the field today. Helping the Ohio State basketball team get to the national championship game. Mike Conley, how important was he? That yes, team? he was. Signed a new fat contract in the offseason. And those two games leading up, actually leading into the final four, Ivan Sunset here, guys. It makes it real, real kind of difficult to see your header. Uh, you know, trying to see the rocks and the beans, anything like that with the dust. Yeah, but man, the sunset. We had a beautiful day today. Uh, you know, it was in the mid 60s. It was great for cutting beans. But you know, you get into these sunsets and evenings, it makes it real tough on you know watching the cutter bar and watching the rocks like that one. So. But an all in all, beautiful day, we'll take it. And uh, we're almost down to just about 80 acres. So we're racing to uh, finish up this field here. We probably got two, three acres left. Uh, the wind has really died down on us. It was a pretty windy today today. Uh, probably about 20 mile an hour wind. The cold front blew through. Uh, really dropped the temperatures too. About the 65 was the high today. So the temperatures are dropping real fast. The wind's dropping. So the dew is going to set in pretty quick tonight. Uh, so we're trying to race to get that done. And once we get this field off, we're going to move to uh, where I bought my farm. And we have 72 acres up there to cut. And hopefully I'll do a little more videos of the farm up there. Uh, the action of us cutting. Maybe get some drone videos, hopefully. Uh, but that's what's going on. We're just uh, trying, to, trying to beat the dew here. Racing, uh, racing the night. Right now we're doing a little moving, moving equipment around, uh, but I just wanted to show you some of our equipment we're working with this year and show you, uh, you know, as we accumulate equipment being young, uh, what we can kind of afford, what we can't. Uh, as you guys know, with $3 corn and $9 beans, uh, it's kind of starting off. You don't have the nicest equipment. So that is my truck, my two DMI wagons. I believe they're 300 bushel wagons. Um, 2188 combine 30 foot head uh, we'll talk more on the combine the combine is actually rented uh, from the local dealer uh, for being smaller farmers it just makes sense for us to rent instead of buy uh, especially the maintenance on a 20 year old combine like that and then we have our main 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 uh, equipment the fastest grain mover in town you know semi and the Tempty grain trailer uh, that thing is a lifesaver. So, like I said, guys, with that, um, just showing you what we're working with this year. Like I said, you know, all of this was purchased. None of this from was a given. Uh, young farmer, you know, it's it's hard. Nothing's given. Nothing's uh, 
Uh, you know, I didn't walk into any of this. So, just the, uh, you know, $3 corn, $9 beans, it makes it tough sometimes, but, you know, you make it work. So, you, you watch your pennies and your dimes and you make it work. So, we're going to move some equipment, we're going to move around, so, stay tuned.